My spiritual journey began when I was born. I came to the understanding that we are all in this together, in the knowing that we are all connected. And that came through my death. My death was caused by alcohol and drugs. Being dead for 10 minutes and then returning. It's like a, a lotus flower gets shoved down in the murky mud and it, it rises back up. My energies are starting to flow and balance and be in harmony with everybody else's and I'm like, this is what I came back for. She was so enthusiastic for life after that. They don't understand that I have this expression of God that is so intense and so needed and I am the light that shines through me. Nicole is an angel, mentor, teacher, guide, sage. She has the infinite wisdom and ability to touch and heal people's lives. Nicole has brought um, a lot of joy to my life. I consider her as an energy healer. What I love is her authenticity. I was completely healed. It was absolutely amazing. I am so happy and I am so blessed that I have met Nicole. The kindest, most passionate, loving person I have ever met. She's a gift from God. I took the gun. I was almost ready to shoot myself. She saved my life. She saved my life. And welcome to our show, Remembering Connections with Cindy and Nicole. Uh, good morning. It is a Wednesday. I am Cindy. I am Nicole. How are you today? I am amazing. You are amazing. You're always amazing. <laughs> are you never not amazing? I don't think so. Um, no. 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 <laughs> No, I'm always amazing. Uh, we want to uh, welcome you to uh, Radio St. George, 100.3 FM in St. George. Uh, also, Radio St. George on Facebook, live on Facebook. And um, thanks for watching. And uh, we're going to be having that on our Facebook page, certainly, uh, the video after we're done today, Remembering Connections with Cindy and Nicole. And we are going to get to healings today. We, we last, last week, we had a whole hour with Master Quo from the Tao that was here from Taiwan, which was so fascinating. Uh, but it's all about... About Nicole and healing today and you before before you stepped into the studio today Nicole you said I'm getting messages oh yeah yeah <laughs> overflowing with messages of of um, not only from spirit and from creator but also from um, um, people yes um, in asking me questions and and um, I guess my busy week went from um, going to meet um, Corey Good Yes. And Will you tell, you know what, because I don't know, I know a little bit about Corey, but I don't know a lot of it. Will you tell everybody who Corey Good is? You met him in California um, a week from last weekend, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Corey Good, um, he is part of this space program, the secret space program. Mm -hmm. And he... So there is one. There is a secret space program. Yes. Yes. There, there, there is. And, yeah. And I was drawn to him because of his way of speaking his truth mm -hmm. through his lens. Meaning he speaks his truth very, very clearly and, yeah. and, and he shares um, his story, what has happened to him. And he opens doors um, to people that are seeking similar things that they've seen or experienced. Mm -hmm. And I love that about him. So I wanted to meet him and yeah. I wanted to meet David Wilcock because that man is great. <laughs> He's just like really has put himself out there for higher understanding. And I don't know forever. who David is either. So tell us who David is. Well, he is. He went in search of like the the um, alien forms, or like, okay. or like higher education, or okay. and and he kind of put himself out there because he kept hearing little things of um, information, and yeah, he and just wanted I, to know. Yeah, no, he's a seeker, and so he has a bridges a whole bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. And reminds you, anything that's not familiar to the human eye is alien. Mm -hmm. Anything, angels. May I, yeah, that's that's literally how, that's what what that's it the is. definition, mm -hmm. right? So you're you're looking at all these different perceptions. Seven billion of us, yes, probably more than seven billion <laughs> billion, yeah. and we get to go experience individually each person and how amazing they are. I trust by doing this mm -hmm. that I get to experience everybody's experience or everybody's focus or everybody's um, um, perceptions perception, there uh -huh. you go, of the light. And and be non judgmental about it. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. So I think that you were having um, some people commenting like, oh, "Are you doing this now? And are you doing this? No, I'm doing everything. Yeah. I mean, I'm just. Oh, I. It's not like you're. First of all, you only do you. Yes. 
Okay, oh, and, and I know that because I know I know you. Um, you only do you, but but you're you're non judgmental and you're listening to other people and what their perception is and how uh, their spirit and their body is walking around and what they see and what they're doing. And and light is light and truth is truth. Mm-hmm. And what isn't, you know, exactly. right? Yes. So you're just mm-hmm. accepting of the people that are living in the light, however they're choosing to live in the light. Yes. Is that a good way of saying it? Yes. Okay, good. So that's what we want to talk a little bit about today. It's kind of that non-judgmental, uh, you know, light. We all have some. Some of us grew up with religion. Some of us did not. But you are always uh, talk about spirit. The one thing that, and I don't know that it in the video beforehand if it said something about it. But you, when you came back after you passed away, um, you were, you had your whole programming, if you will, anything that you had learned when you're little, it was gone. So you are just completely living in the light and accepting of others because of that. Right. Yes. I don't, I don't, um, when you come back with, with this, this light and you, you forget the teachings here and I've learned it from the children that are being born too. Yeah, I'm sure. Because they're seeing this amazing opportunity to come down here Mm -hmm. and then they're under realizing that it's, um, it's heavy. Yeah. And that yeah, there's emotions that this fluctuation of emotion here that, that causes it to be heaviness. Right. And that's the only thing that we can control here is mm-hmm. is our emotions. Yeah. It, that the rest of our destiny is preset. So, mm-hmm. so um, as I'm watching as I'm watching the pureness of thought, the pureness of heart, and then I'm watching other people put their perceptions and build a box for me or for them. Yeah. I choose not to do that. Right. And how I watch energetically each person share their experience. They their true self, their true light is is shining in their perception, their lens, and. And the, the biggest thing I learned is um, you cannot unconditionally love anybody or anything while in judgment. It's impossible. Uh, I believe that. It's impossible. So if you're saying that you you're energetically you're seeing us in our in our uh, light and, and but when it's coming through our filter, if you will, right, or our mm-hmm. lens, if we become more not judgmental, we don't have that lens as much anymore, and we can be brighter. We can be a brighter us. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're kind of saying? Yeah. I like that. And also it opens opportunities for you because anyone in general, but when, when you think about it, if you're, if you're looking through this lens or through this perception that, um, you're coming to me, especially it's not working for you Yeah, and you're seeking for something, but the unwillingness to, um, widen your lens has to be there as well. Yeah. I think, you know, when I went, when I was a little girl, uh, my mom was very much, you know, wanted me to be friends with, with my religion and my, and my dad said to me, I'm just going to tell you, there's people, there's good people everywhere. And if you are only going to be friends with people who believe what you believe and do what you do, you're going to miss out on life and you're going to miss out on a lot of great people. And that's like the basic thing of just being in the human form. And you're saying kind of that in our spirit form saying just, you don't have to, you don't have to follow what they're doing or believe what they're doing, but at least be open to the fact that they have the light too. Yes. Right. Yes. And I don't see going to the, what the heaven's gate or heaven's door and saying, Oh well, well, I only I only allowed that light to come in and not that yeah. one, or yeah. or I I allowed it this way and not that way. They don't. The, there's not that limitation or, right. or door that there's not even a door that's closed. Yeah. The only thing that we that we when if you, it's closed, we close it. We close it. Yeah. Outside yeah. of that, it's it's all is welcome and show us your light and and follow you follow really um you mesh really um in harmony. So. It, it's been really interesting because yeah. I because the whole point of being is I went from a really um, scientific or um, um, speaking about aliens. Yeah, I mean this this yeah. gentleman in his. Lens. I have to, to be honest with you, and I don't mean to be in judgment. It kind of freaks me out, right? Because you know, I because I just it's not it's not something I'm I understand or know about. I just heard a little bit, and we haven't always heard good things, you know, about that. So it kind of does. But I just love the fact that you went up and go, okay, I'm going to check it out, right? Yeah, and that's why I went. I'm like, well, I want to see his his energy, and I want what his understand. intentions are with all of that. Yeah, well, just if. Just um, why am I drawn to um, bringing awareness to myself for this? Yeah. And if I'm, tr- if I'm, if, if it's just because everything that happens, to, w- happens um, around me. Yeah. It's little, it's little steps. Something, something will be presented in front of me. I don't go searching. Really. I know you don't. <laughs> Things just happen. And I'm like, okay, hey, I've seen this, this Corey good. And I've had other um, 
um, before I even knew that he was um, in the limelight, I mm-hmm. had some other experiences mm-hmm. that I was able to work um, mm-hmm. uh, with that name it came up to me. So it's Anyways. kind of a piece of a puzzle for you. Yeah. And so when the mm-hmm. name came up again and again, I'm like, I, I need to go and find out why. I had no idea about much of what he was about until right. I got there. Right. And that's good. Right. Because oh, yeah. I don't want to be, I don't, I don't want to have any sort of influence. So once I get there, I'm like, this man shook my hand and asked my name and looked me in the eyes in the most genuine way I've ever experience and this is truth i've went to some really amazing healers and i won't name some of these healers or these world-renowned geologists these people that i wanted to meet and tell them gratitude they wouldn't even give me the time of day to look me in the eye yeah yeah that's how i agree i i know exactly what you're talking about there is a huge difference Mm -hmm. in that and this man there's no no respect mm -hmm. almost yeah and he 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 embraced he embraced the moment and and even though there's a lot of other people he still shared with yeah. anybody that wanted to yeah. and and i watched him i watched him and i'm like it doesn't matter what lens he sees through right. it doesn't matter what his his background is that that is the kind of person that would bring it would catalyze love right and he he came in to do his part yes because we all came in to do whatever part mm-hmm. it is so before we uh, go to the phones you were saying that maybe we should do our meditation beforehand Yes. Would you like to do? Are you ready to do that? Yeah. I so the explanation of that is that the I had held a meeting on Sunday as uh-huh. well. Uh-huh. So I've been busy. You've been a very busy girl. <laughs> yes. And um, this is like the third or fourth time that people have asked me to do the meditation or the stillness or just just balance energies in the beginning because it felt better. Right. So I thought by doing that on the show too that 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 Keeps would things balanced. Mm-hmm. And Be a all, little still, and also remember, this is your show, the listeners. This we we are here showing up to assist you Absolutely. to find find the pathways to light, to find the pathway to self, to find the to. And this is all to find yours, not ours. Yeah. We speak we speak of our experiences, but we we her, uh, Cindy and I are both so open that all mm-hmm. things are, that lead to the light, all paths that lead to the we're light, good we're with. there. We're good. <laughs> we, we were there yesterday, right? We were, like, we're always there. And the thing is, I think it's just, it's what you said earlier. And I love that you said that when you're talking about us with our own lenses and our own perceptions. Um, and sometimes we're not open because we weren't taught to be open, but our spirits are always open. And so if you can, can figure that out, it does make it easier to go to, to, to light and to be the best you. And so that's why we're here. We want everybody to be the best them, to show up what they came here to do. What a wonderful world, yeah. right? It's going to be just awesome when we all go, okay, I'm here, front and center, mm-hmm. next, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're just going to go into a balancing, really simple. So um Meditation or stillness can be walking. It can be t- when you're talking. It can be bowing. It can be um, laughing. There's this stillness that 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 we find with inside of ourselves, the center point. Mm-hmm. It, that when all things are just okay. Yes. Yeah. There's like this all's well bliss that you get. That mm-hmm. and that bliss in that that epic moment of that. Mm-hmm. brings us all together. Mm-hmm. And so um, I wish that we didn't have to use words to um, ignite memory cells in the body so we could just sit here in silence, but yeah. that doesn't work. So yeah. I'll do And that. we're on radio. Yeah. That really would- <laughs> So what I invite you to do is allow the, the, the sounds that come out of my voice, just the words, and when you feel the energy or the frequency of bliss, place it wherever feels good in you and your body. If, okay. you're, if you have some kind of um, thought of illness or suffering or, or, um, anything like that. Just, just bring this frequency or energy or feeling sense knowing your love. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is just allow yourself to melt into you, melt into your chair. <clears throat> Sorry. And then you're going to visualize this white light above your head. We all came from this this cosmic source, mm-hmm. creator, light. And as this opens up to you, you're going to start to feel tingles on your head or maybe around your body. Allow that. And remember, this is your energy and your power. Let it go through you. No one else can influence this. 
because you're the one activating it. You're the one asking for it. You're the one asking to discover you. And when you do that with that strong intent, nothing can influence you. Mm -hmm. So as this is happening, you're going to imagine it going through the top of your head and down your body and into Mother Earth. Now, Mother Earth being an alive um, organism as we are, we're going to bring up this emerald green. Imagine, imagine you can just say, I'm ready to awaken. I'm ready to have vitality and ask and receive. Wow, it was that easy. Allow it to go through your feet and up through your lower chakras. Chakras are your energy points in your body. And out the top of your head. This is going to connect you to everything that's above and everything that's below. Creating a balance within the heart space, but also your center, which is right underneath the ribs. And it's a yellow, um, beautiful orb or sun. Mm -hmm. And that is where we connect to the sun. I mean, think of the sun and the moon. They're always moving. They Mm -hmm. never take rest. Mm -hmm. So bring in that information from them. How do we do that? How do we be that? And that is like your your nature inside of yourself, wanting to heal your body, mm-hmm. wanting to clear your mind, and wanting to let go of all the stuff that doesn't serve you. And as this happens, then you're going to imagine a blue light just moving. Imagine like water flooding through the top of your head all the way down into Mother Earth and just letting go. Let it go of that stuff that doesn't serve you, that doesn't bring you to your highest understanding or your highest essence of love let it go let it go and then open yourself up for for whatever today brings for you because it's going to be beautiful allow allow and receive yes receive the goodness yes okay that was good yeah we're all good if you if you would like to uh call up and and uh talk to nicole get a healing with nicole you can do that uh whether you're listening here in saint george or somewhere else if you're um on radio saint george facebook uh, if you're listening, whatever you want to do, just give us a call. The area code is 435, number is 879-4100. That's 879-4100, area code 435, 879-4100, area code 435. And uh, we'll just take your phone calls and you can ask ask anything you want. So I'm going to ask. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, um, so my grandbaby... Yes. Has um, he had surgery this morning? His tonsils and adenoids, adenoids, uh huh, were the biggest the doctors seen. He said, and so, he's how old is he? So two. little, he's two. Aww. So we're just going to Send ask him for light love, and love and blessings yes. sent to him. Yes, for sure. Yeah. So please do it because he's he's the sweetest thing ever. Yes, he he he. he he was quite the experience this this weekend with the Dow. He was probably the highlight of yeah. most because well, he's so beautiful. Yeah, and he would come in there with these come in and the um, whether doing ceremonies or lunch or anything that the Dow was was doing, he was able to be a part of. And he was is usually I call him Wreck It Ralph because <laughs> he's just like he's he everywhere. Loves it. Yes, yeah, he's he, everywhere. And he just Lots loves to play. And, yeah. and um, he sat quietly. He was Aww, just oh, so he felt it all. Mm-hmm. And he would move his hands like like Master quoted. <laughs> but the cutest thing is he'll also sit on my lap and he'll he'll ask he'll hit my hands up uh-huh. and he'll want me to put him on his his energy points. Oh. And like, always put it on his little heart. Or... And he innately knows where he wants it. Mm-hmm. I would like it here today, Grandma. Does yeah. he call you Grandma? Mama. Yeah. Mama. Oh, cute. 879-4100 is the number to call if you'd like to call uh, today. Uh, 435 is the area code. And um, we were talking um, before we went on the air, Nicole, because um, can you talk about the foundation? Because we haven't really, we've, we've touched on that, but we haven't really talked a great deal about that. So the Array of Hope Foundation um, has been, um, I can't really say how long it's been active. We got we got the, it all legalized just yes. four months ago or right. something. But I have been working 
moving into different spaces and finding where people are suffering and assisting them. And we've been doing that on our own mm -hmm. and it's, it's gotten too much. Yeah. And so we um, started this and you were, you are part of it. Yes, I am <laughs> proud and happy to be. Yeah. And the new one is, is um, we're helping kids in Pakistan that need clothes and things like this. Mm -hmm. And so, and then each place that I've been called, either I learned I learned about them from the Parliament of World Religions when I was there, and or somebody has called me for blessings, or someone's been there. So we have some churches in in India, and um, things like that. That people are just really suffering. Yeah. However, when I um, when I'm sending this these blessings out or this money out or or whatever, I started really paying attention to the states. Mm -hmm. to where we live. Yes. And I have noticed that we have more homeless people, more addicts, more, um, not saying more or less, but more than I thought. Right. There, the, because there's just no measuring who, where, who's more suffering. Right. You know, that doesn't make yeah. sense. But for me, more than, than, than I thought, because mm -hmm. I'm running, moving through the addiction and stuff, and they, I'm like, yeah, they have these recovery centers and 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 I'm focused on that part, and then I'm focused on um, um, healing centers. Then I'm ho focused on on what ours is going to look like. But I'm not really focused on um, really how many um, kids are suffering here, yeah. how many suicides are here, right. and then the big bullying is happening uh, right now too. Yeah. And um um again, how how can we go and hit these really intense informa this really intense information that right. is really happening? First, stop denying it. Yeah. When I talk about child trafficking, people are like, "How can you go into that suffering? And why would you share that here? Because we're in this bright, beautiful space, and you bring in you bring in this stuff." Well, guess what? Because you're in that bright, beautiful space, share it. Yeah. Yeah, that it, is it, what it you're needs the bright, beautiful yeah. space, those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the Ray of Hope Foundation is really um, a, a lot about children. That's yes. really what it's all about. Children of the world in, in, in every form and in, in their needs. And the energy behind it is that, that um, people aren't aware that there's, there's um, alternative assistance. Yes. People aren't aware of that. So our... We have Noreen Jessup, as we, we've had her on our show. Mm -hmm. She has the three children that are suffering from pecan. Yeah. And the energy, the energetics behind that have really assisted her and her entire family. Yes. And the kids are making progress, and, and it's bringing them a quality of life. That they didn't have before. That, yeah. They didn't. And here, so we have them, and we have other, um, we have other children that have gifts, these children are born into gifts. They are born with these gifts, and um, they're coming to this heavier world. Mm -hmm. It becomes very hard to be here. Yeah. And so I found out through delivery or assisting that baby being delivered of yes. Brittany's that that baby didn't want to come. Yeah. And then this weekend, I got to do the same thing oh, with wow. a, with a with another baby. Mm -hmm. While I was at the Dow, I I assisted this this other one and i asked this other child the same thing yeah and they're telling me they, and mind you they're not born yet uh, yes. their spirit comes to me and right. i go to step in and it's the same thing well it's really heavy here mm -hmm. and so i'm putting these all these things together and it seems like so much at once it seems mm -hmm. like how can any of the, how can this relate to this and this relate to that it's all the same core yeah it is yeah. is that things are are really chaotic yep and the really sensitive people, souls, spirits, kids, adults aren't uh, aren't finding home. They're not finding a place of of serenity. Therefore, they're not being able to let stuff go, and and they're um, having episodes. They're on medication. They're well, and living in fear. I think. Yeah. Because it's the first place you go is if you don't know how to navigate what's happening, like you hold your breath and just go. Oh, like and, mm -hmm. and and breath is life, right? So you hold your breath and then you because I mean I could I do that. I think that's that's a very human thing to do. And little ones who really don't even have a few years saying, Oh, that may get better, they don't even know that that would ever get better. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um I I feel like that we got some um again the Noreen Jessup's children. I feel like that why they were put where they were, because when you find out how we met, I mean it was so serendipitous. Is is so that they have a drastic, um, a very noticeable um, symptoms. They have yes. very noticeable stuff that's happening with yes. them. So it's very noticeable their what's happening, their um, progress. Yes. Oh and, yeah. And 
Then you go Very to much. these little or the children that are that are um, wetting their pants. They're four, you know, four and six wetting their pants randomly. Yeah. And so they come to see me, and it's because they the energy is so interesting that they haven't really came all the way back into, they haven't came into their body all the way to learn it because they don't really want to be here. Yeah. Most people don't want to hear that, but that's the truth. And, yeah. and all these people that keep coming in different areas all over the world um, are bringing their, their kids and, and adults to me with things that people are like, no one can understand. Mm -hmm. So can you, and that's where, why, why my stuff seems so everywhere. Yeah. But it, it's the same thing. I, mm -hmm. I go in, I ask where, wh how can I best assist this person? Mm -hmm. And where is the core problem? Yeah. I don't bandaid everything else. I go right in and say, yeah. okay, well, what is this? Why, why is this happening to the physical? The physical is born perfect. That's what it knows. And then how can we assist that person to change it mm -hmm. for the better? Yeah. And it's and right now it's that little spirit is like, wow, this, <laughs> this, yeah. this information here is heavy and yeah. I don't understand it. And yeah. it looked joyful you know, and, and then I get here and I, and I understand that, well, the human experience is very educational. <laughs> That's a good yes. word, Nicole. <laughs> I mean, there's these spirits that are like, wow, I can grow really fast down there because there are a range of emotions and, and, and. You know, all this stuff that, that's available, but right. once it gets here, the emotions are very interesting. They're also, we're living... Slower energy, too. Yeah, and we're living all of these different cycles. This is, scienti this is science. We're living all these different cycles at once, mm -hmm. and it's really confusing for most people. Mm -hmm. Instead of embracing it, they're, they're going against it, and when you go against it, and when you push against energy, it's going to push back. Yeah, yeah. So instead of just moving backwards and going, hey, let's observe what's happening in the now because this is now. Yeah. It's not changing. No matter what 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 we do, it's not changing. It is the now. And yeah. so instead of pushing your will on it of what you think you know that wasn't working, mm -hmm. you step and say, okay, well, this is uh, – you guys got permission. Science is starting to tell you that you're amazing. <laughs> I think it gave you permission that you are light. Actually, they found biophotons in your body that aren't empty and, and that you are amazing <laughs> and that you're all energy. Science gave you permission to look further than the three senses. Yeah. I learned this this weekend. <laughs> I was like, what? You guys have to have permission to be amazing? I think, wow. I think we all feel like we have to have permission for a lot of things. I think it's just kind of the way we were raised. It's the way society is, the way it is down here in, in the physical realm, you know? Um, can we talk just a, a moment about the Array of Hope Foundation uh, fundraiser? We're going to have one in September. Yeah. And so we're, we're mentioning this because... Uh, what you were talking about with all the children and the little ones, and all that, we're we're um, wanting to assist whatever children, whatever their needs, like whether it's clothing or food or energy, to assist them to go. Oh, okay, I can do this. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have to ha act up, or I don't have to because because let's be honest, we've talked about that. And and again, whatever religion you are, you know these times are getting a little more and more intense and a little more. I mean, we've got that volcano going on. In you know spewing and oozing lava and gases in Hawaii in the Big Island of Hawaii right now, um, I know there was some uh, a volcano around Alaska that was getting some earthquakes last week as well. And where did there was something this morning that I was just reading too. So it's kind of all over the place. Mother Earth is kind of saying, okay, you know, kind of had enough of the, there's 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 shifting times. It's shifting energy. And I really believe in my heart that it will all be for the good, but it's scary while it's happening. Um, and so that's why we're sitting here, right? I mean, mm -hmm. in, in the sensitive ones, like you're talking about these little children, they feel it even more than the grownups do. Even if you're a sensitive grown up, guaranteed that little one who's two years old is going to be feeling it more than you probably, I'm guessing, right? The first, first thing we get to do is remember those sensitive kids are yeah. our future. Remember yes. that they are way stronger than we came down. Right. With. The energetics and the spirit and the knowing that they have is ridiculous mm -hmm. compared to what the adults are telling And they them. came specifically now mm -hmm. because of that. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So we have to take care of them. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's why this, the, so we are going to have this center of creation, this, this, this center where these, these kids come and our energy's there. We've worked with them. We have similar ones instead of us traveling all over the world and giving energy at the airport and this and that. Mm -hmm. This place right here is going to fly these kids in, fly these, these people in. They're going to be influencers mm -hmm. in their own space, right? Yes. And in our space, we're going to understand all these cultures because we've been traveling them. 
and yeah. finding out what what this looks like. So these kids with gifts are coming in. These kids are learning how to be free of judgment. They're mm-hmm. learning to expand their gifts, which we're already doing this right. on a small scale. Right. And it happened on purposely accident. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a mm. word, but or even a I love it. I love it. But everyone's like, so this accidentally just fell in your lap? I'm yeah. like, no. Every this it's supposed to be. These little pieces of stuff mm-hmm. of, of information from each each um, trip I went on, they all lead to the whole. This yeah. whole uh, this wholeness of understanding that these these sh- who these children children are. If I hadn't traveled all over the place, picking up information and seeing how they are, what lens they're coming from, what energy they're working how they with, live, <laughs> I wouldn't. We wouldn't have the space that that is able to um, adjust. Yeah. And create with these with these kids, and and they're so young that most of them they love it. Not all of them they love each other. They don't get a color. Yeah. They don't get they don't get oh, the children breakdown are like that. It's yeah. so true. And um, as we were moving into this, what I found is, and again, I, I get asked questions all the time. Well, why why are you focused on the kids so much? Because the adults have they need more stuff done, right? Yeah, yeah, they do, but they have to be willing. Yeah, and most I found most of them aren't willing. So what That's- I found is by assisting the child. Yes. These children go home and the parents learn. Yeah, from the children. From the children. Yeah. And I'm like, so I'm going to focus on the children because the most most adults aren't willing yeah. to be transparent and they're not and it, it, they're not they're not they're not willing to to, to learn. They say That's I want I want to change, I want to change and so we do practices and we they they'll bring their self into their awareness <laughs> and they'll go home and do the same thing. Yeah, it's like I want to change, but I'm not going to do that to change. <laughs> or I right? want to. My my favorite was I want to be like you. I want to do this. I want I want to do this. And I said oh, I I I want to have this open heart and and compassion. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is what I do. I don't do anything in order, and I probably never do anything twice. <laughs> you know, and, yeah. and I and all things that feel good are welcome. And I'm going to step in full, a hundred percent, to be there to show every up time. every time. Yeah, every time. Yeah. But you have to do that too. Yeah. Oh, that's too hard. It takes but a lot of can energy. I heal, can I can I heal with you? Can I do this? Can I do that? Yeah. When you do this, yeah, oh, the, yeah. There, that's the only way that 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 you can impact people is show up a hundred percent, understand completely where someone's coming from, be compassionate, and be compassionate. Yeah, and share that. judgmental. I just I think that's totally true because the kids are like already open, but if, you know, it, it's kind of like for losing weight. That's a we're in a big big area. Um, I'm talking the United States. That, that, that there's a weight issue and they want to lose weight and they're like, okay, so if you do this, this, and this, you can lose weight. Well, I don't really want to do that. That's not fun. And that's kind of the same thing. It's like, I mean, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying this, I'm like that stuff. We get a little stubborn in our little ways and we want to do it, but we want to do it like how we want to do it. And then we do those things, how we do it and it's not working. And we're like, well, yeah. well what's going on? Then we go to Nicole and go, Hey, Nicole. And you're like, well, cause you have to do it this way. No, I don't want to do it that way. Right. That's what you're saying. Basically, that's how it is. Yes. But I just have the biggest funny come through my head. Okay. Remember when you said, said oh so you're kind of like a nurse a spiritual nurse you yeah said that? yeah okay but i'm not a surgeon i guess <laughs> i don't know why you're this just is because you're, you're just talking assisting. about yeah that makes complete sense you're a spiritual nurse but you're not doing the surgery yes you're just gonna you're gonna you're gonna show them you're gonna show the patient how to take care of themselves yes yes so that goes Nurses to like rock like you're talking about you know, the, um, overweight yeah. and, and people go and they have the surgery, yeah. but yeah. it comes back. I yeah. feel like that's the same. If you don't with yeah. me, if, if I, and I have, I've, I went in and, sh- and said, okay, I want in the beginning, I would show you exactly how to do it and tell you, yeah. tell you how to get there. And when people would get there to their highest <laughs> expectation, they're like, this is amazing, but they have an expe- expectation on them what amazing looks like. And that wasn't fun anymore because they didn't, they didn't have the path to remember why it was like the struggle was taken from them well and also and, yeah because they don't, they don't, don't even know. know how to do it yeah. if there's not a struggle i don't know how to do it or if there's not drama in my life i don't know how to do it right mm-hmm. no that, that i think i think that's i think that's right on i mean it's 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 and again it's there's no judgment even with that because i'm living in a physical body and i've done it and i do when i catch myself i literally laugh out loud but we laugh. Like, oh my I, gosh so i work with you enough to know and we were and this is why we do what we do is yeah because but we laugh about it. We're like, oh my gosh, that was fun. Yeah. Most people don't like when you yeah. tell them. They'll even get it. They're like, oh, I could have done completely different and, and listened to my internal guidance, but I mm-hmm. didn't. But they don't laugh. Yeah. They don't laugh that they, that, 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 that they 
went back to what they thought was because easier. they don't want you don't want to look in the mirror and I and, and I think seriously it let me just say the hardest thing in the world is to look in the mirror and I'm not talking physically I'm thinking your actions your behaviors all of that and to think that maybe you did something to to sever a relationship or uh, to sever a job or whatever it is um, that maybe you had a part and you can't just blame somebody else because mm-hmm. we would like to blame, right? Everyone likes to blame because you don't want it to be you. When you have to really look at yourself and go, what was my part? It's for me, even when I was little, it was never, I, you know, maybe when I was really little, I'd point a finger, but the majority of the time I go, what did I do and what can I do different next time? And I think that's once you can at least be okay with yourself. Cause I'll literally say to myself, Ooh, I'm embarrassed that I'm even thinking these thoughts right now. I literally will say that inside myself because it's like, that's not who I really want to be. And I don't really believe that's who I am. So let's figure out how to shift that. But there are moments, Nicole, that and that I will go, okay, I can't get out of it right now. So I'm going to have to just sit with this. I'm going to have to sit with being sad. I'm going to have to sit with being angry. I'm going to have to sit whatever until it goes away. I'm completely aware. Mm-hmm. And I'm cl- completely aware this is not where I'm choosing to be this moment. However, it's not wanting to budge right now. You know, that's where you come in, where you can go, you can assist, because sometimes you just need to know the truth. And sometimes the truth, you know, <laughs> not as fun as you wish it were. <laughs> but awareness is, is I love, that's the word that popped out to me that you said, yeah. because being aware that something yeah. is, something can shift. Yeah. Most people aren't even aware of that. They, but they have an option. Yeah, they have an option. They're yeah. in their stuff and they think that that's just how it has to be and they bring more to it, to their stuff. If you observe the, the the stuff that you've created, mm-hmm. you can uncreate it. Mm-hmm. You created it. You created it. You're the I know, but let's be honest. You look stuff. at your life and you go, how did I, like, I don't remember creating this. Like, how did I mm-hmm. do this? And I know that every moment we create. So if you don't like something, you can start thinking differently and being different to create something different. But if you, yeah, you're right. If you're not aware of how you created it. And you're like, okay, I just knew this was not in the game plan for me. And I'm doing it like, how did I get here? You know, you really, I think you, there are moments with certain things in your life. You just go, I don't seriously consciously know how I got here, but I'm here. Mm-hmm. Right. I think if people will sit with themselves long enough, well, I know that if people sit with themselves long enough, they will find out. But the thing is sitting with yourself. And when you find out being okay with what you found out. Oh, that's it. Because when yeah. you find out, oh, I did do that, then you're like, no, it couldn't have been. And it's yeah. easier to make up an excuse why someone else did. Now this is what, oh, it was from the creator. It was from that other person, that other entity or thing that we call devil or, you know, we really, we, yeah, we blame something. We have to blame the human thinks they have to blame something. It's hard to imagine yourself inside yourself that maybe you were cruel. Mm hmm. Or maybe you were unkind, not compassionate, uh, jealous, all the, all the things. Cause it, cause there's always that list. You always, you know, read all the self help books and any kind of book. And there's a list of the good emotions <laughs> and the not so good emotions, right? And then, and that alone is a judgment. This is right. This is not right. No, what if it was just, this serves me better than this, <laughs> right? I mean, there's a way to look at it in non judgment because like you said before, with the little babies coming in, What's up with all these emotions? That's how we learn. Well, right. That and um, an expectation to the outcome is what everybody has. And so, as so I true. as I observe people talking about books and and they talk about different kind of things, it depends on what book they read, the perception they took it from, and what lens they're out of. All these different mm-hmm. things. I'm all so when when I bring someone to a core emotion, say that they have hurt someone's feelings and mm-hmm. they don't, their perception is they didn't. So they didn't hurt this person, and so they don't know why they're carrying it. One, you are carrying it. Yeah. You're admitting you're carrying it. Right. Actually, number one is it doesn't really matter because each of each individual has this different perception and an expectation of what hurting someone's feelings looks like mm-hmm. or an expectation of what hurting your feelings looks like. Yeah. And so instead of just forgiving this whole situation, both sides, you want to make an excuse of who's right and who's wrong. <laughs> so true. <laughs> And even if, even if you're, well, I'm almost wrong. I'm, <laughs> I'm almost right, though. Kind of right. <laughs> but she shouldn't have said this. Yeah. But she's, but, but when you, when people make comments, mm-hmm. you're not taking it as they mean it, anyways. You're taking it through your own lens. That's very true. And so, so when before, what, I keep saying being an observer of of conversations because I watch these feelings getting hurt every day, 
every. Do you see that in an energetic way mm-hmm. too? What yeah. does that look like energetically? Static. It's just static. Interesting. And and so and I don't understand emotion. Like everyone right. around me knows I don't understand that uh, at a level that you guys do. But what mm-hmm. I do understand is the energy behind each word, each emotion. Each action, I can go. Oh wow, that's why you have a stomach ache. As you as you have um, seen my work. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was a word from a child when you were a child, and and then I go into your mom's head, and I'm like, oh well, her energy. I'm like, hmm, she didn't really mean it like you took it, mm-hmm. and then it just expanded, and then the, how you took it as a child really became real to both of you, and it, and it almost becomes a belief then mm-hmm. too, depending on what was said, right? Yeah, and yeah. So it's like it does. It, let's dissolve that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't work right now in your life anyway. You're grown up now. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so as we as as we move these out, and you feel lighter and lighter and lighter, then your 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 frequency and your perception um, starts to shift too. Yes. And sometimes it, it I mean it does take take diving in there and saying this is why you feel this way is because you're seeing it through through this scope or this age and and what can we do to 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 move that out? Mm-hmm. That brings you awareness, right? Of not to do it, and also expands your awareness. Most people don't want to do that work in the first yeah. place. It's too it's a lot important. of energy to do it, mm-hmm. right? And, and don't you think that when you get clearer, there's a lot of responsibility with that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because now you're aware that you would be hurting somebody's feelings. Now you're aware that your words are going to matter. The tone of your voice is going to matter. Your intention behind it's going to matter, and that's a responsibility. And People, people think this, think that, but for me, what if talking kindly, saying I'm sorry, mm-hmm. and meaning it, <laughs> just what if, what if? When I mean, yeah. we have a lot of what ifs, this, what if that happens, what if this happens? Yeah, <clears throat> they're all what if negatives. Well, go wow, what if I just said, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then in your head, be like, maybe they're seeing it through a different perception right. lens. And that's okay. Right. Because I love unconditionally. And in order to love unconditionally, I can't have judgment, nor do I want the judgment. Why would you uh, want that? Because it's exhausting and it's heavy. You gave yeah. yourself the right to judge. Yeah. You were not born with that. Unless right. you were born, with how you were born in this perfect, your organs, they all have a right to connect together. They have this right of passage to beat together. And you don't tell them what to do. Right. They do it. Right. We gave ourselves the right to suffer. We gave ourselves the right. Because once you become aware, now you're allowing that stuff. You're mm-hmm. like, bring it up. Come back. Yeah. You're right. When, when, when things when things are whatever, how we, are, we were brought up or whatever, and we, whatever we believe, and then if it's all of a sudden gone, we go, wait, I don't know how to navigate. I don't know how to function anymore because that's all I knew. Yep. When there's better and there's brighter. If, if anybody wants to call, by the way, we've got, we have like a few more minutes. So I just wanted to, I just was thinking, I haven't given the number out in a while. So let me do that. 879-4100 is the number to call. 435 is our area code. 879-4100 if you want to talk to Nicole. By the way, if you want to get to Nicole, if you would like a, a private uh, healing with Nicole, you can do that. You can find out all the information at energyhealingbydesign.com. It's on the web, energyhealingbydesign.com. You can check out Nicole. And uh, always check out our Facebook page at Remembering Connections with Cindy and Nicole. Yes. yes. What are we going to say? And we have a gathering tonight, and it's the energy, um, well, it's friends gathering and energy um, circle. So we kind of share in energy, and we do this um, the second Wednesday and the fourth Wednesday of every month. Okay. And um, it's, we were doing a potluck, but it just seemed like there was a lot of food. I was going to ask you, is there a potluck or is it just, okay. Or just bring a treat if you want that can, that can be shared because we have the, um, we'll talk a little bit about the Tao and, and a lot of people will be there that came and experienced it. And Mm -hmm. so you can, you can um, hear, you can hear that, but also we'll, we share gifts and people will that have been my past clients or they have been clients of other energy workers um, will come in just to have that, that um, energy boost just and feel. that understanding and yeah. be able to talk about something that, that most, this isn't an everyday conversation. This no, is putting ourselves out there more isn't. than people understand. Uh, however, when you're talking about unconditional love and, um, and you know, starting with the non-judgment thing, it just makes you feel accepted. Yeah. And who doesn't want that? Right. I want to, I want to, is that your office, right? Yes. Okay. So let me tell everybody how to get there in St. George. It's 352 East Riverside Drive. 
and that's A1, so it's it's uh, the second floor. So 352 East, Riverside Drive, Suite A1, of course it's A1, in St. George. Um, so if you want to check it out at 7 o'clock tonight, do they have to RSAP or anything? Or No, and if you haven't heard the story, if you haven't heard the story and you're curious, then we're going to start at 6. Okay. So 6 is an open discussion, oh, and then the energy circle starts at 7. Okay, we have somebody on the phone. I have been feeling this for a while, so that's what I was waiting for. So, um, hi, you're on the air with uh, Cindy and Nicole. Would you like to talk to Nicole today? Sure, I'd love to talk to Nicole. Okay, great. Hello. Hi, Nicole. Hey, it's Barrett. I just wanted to call because I figured maybe I could get away with it again. <laughs> oh, hello, Barrett. Oh, Cindy oh it's loves the happy you. laugh. Yes, it's Cindy the happy loves laugh you. guy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you sound better than last week, Barrett, it. or the week before, I mean, a couple weeks ago. You sound better. You sound like you're feeling better. It, it's coming along. I had this little cough, and it's just taking forever to go away. And it was funny because I went down to that uh, event with Master Quo uh, this past weekend. I, would, I could only go down for the weekend. But, uh, and I went down with some good friends of mine who introduced me to Nicole. Uh, but uh, anyway, we went down there. And while I was down there, I wasn't really coughing. So I don't know. Maybe it was just being amongst all that really fantastic energy. That's probably what it was. <laughs> so uh, maybe I can, uh, I can wake up to that a bit more again. Uh, I just thought I'd call because... Uh, when I was down there, uh, Nicole, you talked about, uh, I think maybe I was talking to your mom, who, of course, is just amazing. And uh, for those who don't know, her mom is a very spiritually gifted as well mm-hmm. in, a, in a different way. And gorgeous, uh, too. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she's great. And so anyway, but we were just talking, and uh, there was this theme that was coming up uh, between what you were saying and what she'd mentioned um, about the need to... <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, open my heart. And I thought, huh, I, you know, that's always a theme that comes up every now and then for me. And uh, you mentioned how my aura was uh, looking very yellow all the way up the side of uh, the left side of my head, which is associated so much with thought, uh, with the that third chakra center. And you mentioned the need to open my heart. And it'd be interesting to see what happened after the process that we went through with the Tao and everything. And uh, so, I don't know, I just thought I'd call to see if maybe I could get some help in opening my heart up further. That's, I guess, the essence of my call. The first thing that comes to me, well, thank you for calling and thank you for joining us this weekend, is that isn't it interesting where your um, chest congestion is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yep. covering your heart. And so so you opened mm-hmm. up when you came down here and then you closed back when you went back home. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remember that we brought the light down and we and we we um, embraced Mother Earth and our energy earlier to, today on the conversation. So now we're just going to focus on your heart space and you're going to spin that energy out. So use the yellow. If you if the yellow's talking to you, the yellow frequency, color, vibration, smell, sound, anything that anything that comes comes to you. Um, um, Grab onto it, vibrationally grab onto it and turn it inside of your um, heart space. At the same time, we're going to allow your crown chakra, which is at the top of your head and it's purple. We're going to go ahead and open that up and spin it. And your root chakra at the same time. Root chakra is going to keep you balanced just in case that there that you weren't open all the way. We don't want to open your heart up and not have those chakras open as well. We've had, um, we'll share that next time, but. Come to the meeting tonight and you'll, you can hear a story about that. Well, I wish I could have. If I lived down in St. George, I would. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be there in spirit. So what's what's happening now is your laughter is bringing feel your breathe breathe in and feel that chest. Fill it with this divine yellow, gold, white, and then and then blow it out of your mouth. And what's important is watch it dissipate. Now it's clearing your mind too, that it's not there. Because you moved it through your heart, and now your mind is tracking it out. 
how that works or why it doesn't matter. It just does. Now align yourself back. Open your chest up. Put your shoulders back and breathe in. And out, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. And bring in the joy because the joy is loud. Yes, joy is loud. Are you feeling better now? I, it is. It's definitely helping. You need to just yeah. laugh a lot. You just need to laugh. You need to go to rooms and laugh and make everybody else happy because the laugh is ha- your laugh is happy. It is. And clear the, clear your clear your space with that. Re- like move around your house and laugh in the corners. Yeah, laugh's good. It sounds interesting, but but you know, th- send send that vibration. Or watch all a show, over. a TV show, or something that makes you laugh. Something that makes you laugh. If you can't do it, but you know, just like laugh and he think can. you're crazy. He can't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> can you hear him? He can laugh. That man has the best laugh. I'm ever. gonna laugh. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank Barrett. You. Have a great day. Uh, thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 All right, the number to call, 879-4100. We've got a, a few minutes left. want to remind you again that, that uh, Nicole is having a, a get-together, an energy fund get-together at her office tonight at 7 o'clock. If you want to hear the story about how she died and came back, that starts at 6 o'clock. Uh, located at 352 East Riverside Drive, that's Suite A1 in St. George. You can also go for more information and to uh, find out how to get a healing, a personal healing with Nicole at energyhealingbydesign.com. Energyhealingbydesign.com. Uh, you're listening to Radio St. George 100.3 uh, FM at Dixie State University. Um, I wanted to mention if somebody's listening for the first time, Nicole, you had Barrett on and you were, you know, going through the healing with him. Um, uh, how we, we've mentioned this before, but if again, if someone's listening for the first time, like how does she do that when it's on the phone and she's in St. George and he's in Salt Lake? Can you just uh, quickly tell us about how you do that? Well, healing and spirit know no time or distance, and it will show up when you're ready. It's kind of like when the when the student's ready, the teacher will come. Well, that's right. how energy works too. Yeah, it's, it's when you're open up and that intention is there. Um, and we could go into details how how different people's perception of how it works, but right mm-hmm. now it's it's working. Yeah, it's working, and and so you mirror that divine light, and that light is going to tell you where to go and how to get back to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just aligning to it. It really is. I mean, you do assist, and then they get to we get to all just whoever you know has been healed with you, because you won't even say it's you. You will, you know, you get to you get to go on and say, oh, now this is. So I'm gonna say I don't have to think this about this, and and you can release release things yourself, yeah. right? Because people need to know the path there. They need to know how it it it's their path. It's their experience, yeah. and and it's not about. I can show them the the end result or, or the beginning result because they're both the same. Um, it's like, how do you get there? Most people ask me that. How do you get there? How do you get there? Yeah. But, but it, what they're really meaning is put me there now. They're, <laughs> they're, they're not asking, can Give I... Give me the magic pill, Nicole. Yeah. yeah. They're not, it, it's like if you follow the path and, and you find your own truth mm-hmm. and share it because yeah. because that's where you learn your gifts. That's where you learn your abilities. Right. And I'll be there to support support you. And it's it's working. That's all we can say is it's it's working. When you um, are, are, are healing somebody and you're and you're showing them, like you said, the path for them to assist themselves um, with the creator. Um, do you see like. Okay, best case scenario, what that person could be. Well, I see their true potential in their life. That's light, what I meant, yeah. And I see four, three, four different pathways that they're going to go on. Wow, and interesting. I can, um, but all I get the opportunity to do is give them energy bursts, energy um, influences of their own energy because most people forgot their energy is amazing. Mm-hmm. So when you when you share with them their divinity and mm-hmm. you say, here, this is what you you can feel like their memory cells are going to, no matter what path that they go on, mm-hmm. they're, they're, they're seeking that remembrance. It's more tangible now than be, just being beyond the veil and a thought. They're feeling it. Yeah. And, 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 and when you're in a physical body, if you're feeling it, yeah. it's big. Yes. And, yeah. And we te- will, we'll, and again, the Ray of Hope Foundation is going to be the um, that center of creation of learning, and and it's going to be not only for children but for adults because we need all kinds of people to volunteer to make this happen, right. to bring their education, to bring their building blocks, like things that people like your skills. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's help people awake, awaken. 
or be awake. Yeah. All the you know, no, I, <laughs> I, mean, I was just thinking it's, it's, yeah. there's nothing for me anyway. And I and uh, my, my son was asking me recently about a friend that was asking him, you know, who's kind of having a, a hard go at his life and not knowing what to do. And I'm like, if you ever do, you start doing just what you said. You start serving others, mm-hmm. assisting them in what they need assistance with. And you find your light like that. You yes. find your light like that. So you're talking about like we need the other adults for the children too. We need everybody.